Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, at this point, you've decided on a training goal, you've translated that training goal into something that FlySight can indicate, and you've configured your FlySight to do that. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to test your configuration file before you go for a jump. Uh, to do this, you'll need the configuration file, uh, like the one we created in the last video, and you'll need a log file from a previous jump. Let's begin by opening FlySight Viewer. First, we'll import the log file. Then we'll open the simulation view by going to Window, then Simulation. There are a few advanced options here, but for this video, we're going to keep things simple. To select the configuration file we just created, uh, click on the button to the right of Root Configuration. Then locate your configuration file and click Open. Anytime you select a new track or modify the configuration file, you'll need to regenerate the audio track. To do this, click the Process button. Once the track is generated, playback will start automatically. Use the playback controls to pause playback and move the media cursor to the freefall portion of the jump. Then press play to see what audio your fly site would produce. 0 0.7 1.8 All right. At this point, if you want to make changes, you can open FlySight Configurator, make the changes, and then come back to FlySight Viewer, uh, click the Process button to regenerate the audio track, and see what effect your changes had. Uh, using this process, you can quickly iterate your configuration until it does what you want. As always, if you have any questions, please share them in the comments below, and thanks for watching. 